<laughs> Neil Moyer. <laughs> we are recording. You, you recorded okay. that? No, yeah, that's going to get edited. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Tiny Lab Build site. We are here today with American treasure Neil Moyer, who has pointed out to me that we have a few tiny holes in our weather barrier, which is terrible, right? Absolutely. Is it really? No. Okay. So, so Neil's deal is that he is kind of the voice of reason in the building science world, and he's been that for decades. He's been around for a long time. In fact, what I would like to give you first is, if you don't mind, would you please air seal my house? Absolutely. Because now I can say my tiny lab was air sealed by the one and only Neil Moyer. We isn't that easy? So, by the way, homeowners, this is where we are joking around, but honestly, air sealing is a huge deal, and remember that everybody wants an airtight house, except for people in Florida, which Neil will get into in a moment. Um, but so, what do you think about this, honestly? If we were well, to not air seal it, if we didn't air seal it, you wouldn't even see it. I mean, first of all, because it's so tiny. Okay. All right. Now, because this is only one hole, if this thing was riddled with it, that'd be a different story. Then we have to. Does that happen? No, never. Except for when guys with nail guns go after it. Yes. So yes, it does. But just if there was just these four, that was it. Not a problem. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And so we're in Florida, where we're building this. <clears throat> Tiny Lab is not going to live in Florida, but we are building it here right now. And Neil comes along and points out that a lot of the things that we're doing actually don't apply to Florida. And for all of you Floridians out here and people with have family in Florida, why does that matter? Well, for one thing, most of the building codes come out of the, the cold north, where you deal with a lot of stack effects. So that's the hot air rising, which you all know about that. And in Florida, we don't have that. We don't have the stack effect. In fact, if anything, we would have a negative stack effect, if you will, because we air conditioned, cold air settles, so it wants to leak out, pulling in air from the attic space. So we have just the opposite thing. Um, but that's not a major driving force here in our climate because we don't have major delta T's or temperature differences between inside and outside. I want a reasonably tight building, but I'm not going to go to the extent that they would do up in Chicago or up in Boston or someplace like that because it's not cost effective. So because that's once what you get tight enough, you're worried about what happens next. Which right. Is if you get too tight, which the code currently is saying somewhere it's around 5 air changes at 50. When you get down at that range or tighter, you now have to do some type of mechanical ventilation. In our climate, exhaust-only ventilation, continuous, can actually cause problems. Um, you're putting the house under a negative pressure, and if I do a supply only, and without conditioning that air, in other words, removing the moisture, um, I'm going to load the house up with humidity because our humidity source is outside, not inside. If I bring that outside air in, I have to dehumidify it. That costs money. So that's why I'm a little yeah. leery about going really, really tight. In cool. Boston, Florida. So one of the things that we want to make sure everybody gets out of the Proof is Possible Tour when we bring the Tiny Lab to 20 cities is that a lot of people talk about performance of houses and your energy codes are talking about performance. But really, Neil points out that it's not performance. It's prescription. Yep. So we're actually making rules about every house and making every house follow it, right? That's right. So what the goal is of all of this stuff is to figure out what you want and what you don't want to have happen and then figure out a system of goals and quantifiable metrics that we can use to determine whether we actually hit those quality targets or not. Would absolutely, you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. So please do keep that in mind as you make your rules for your own home improvements and your own new building. Uh, and please do tune in next time. Join us on the Proof is Possible tour. Neil Moyer is going to be joining us in St. Augustine in our first city, which we are super excited about. So now that Neil Moyer has air sealed my house, I am very satisfied. I hope you are too. Tune in next time. <laughs>